strong words written a long time ago. Independence is the birthright of the strong and well-controlled man. All men love and strive for liberty. All men aspire to some sort of freedom. A man should labor for himself or for the community. Unless he is a cripple, a chronic invalid, or is mentally irresponsible, he should be ashamed to depend upon others for all he has, giving nothing in return. If one imagines that such a condition is freedom, let him know that it is one of the lowest forms of slavery. The time will come when to be a drone in the human hive, even as matters are now a respectable drone and not a poor tramp, will be a public disgrace and will be no longer respectable. Independence, freedom, glorious liberty, come through labor and not from idleness, and the self-reliant man is too strong, too honorable, and too upright to depend upon others, like a sucking babe, for his support. He earns, with hand or brain, the right to live as he becomes a man and a citizen, and this he does whether born rich or poor. For riches are no excuse for idleness, rather are they an opportunity to labor, with the rare facilities which they afford, for the good of the community. Only he who is self-supporting is free, self-reliant, independent. Thus is the nature of the eight pillars explained. On what foundation they rest, the manner of their building, their ingredients, the fourfold nature of the material of which each is composed, what positions they occupy, and how they support the temple, all may now build. And he who knew but imperfectly may know more perfectly. And he who knew perfectly may rejoice in this systematization and simplification of the moral order and prosperity. Let us now consider the temple itself, that we may know the might of its pillars, the strength of its walls, the endurance of its roof, and the architectural beauty and perfection of the whole.